Whoa, look out! Here are 9 signs that your phone has a virus. Achoo! No, not that kind. Smartphones have become ingrained in our everyday lives. Unfortunately, along with the ever-creasing number of these gadgets, the number of malware attacks on them has also grown. That's why everybody needs to know the signs indicating that their favorite smartphone has caught a virus. But before you learn how to tell that your gadget is infected, or even which virus it's infected with, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. This way, you'll keep track of all the new videos that appear on the Bright Side of Life every day. Well, viruses pose a serious danger to modern smartphones. They can cause such problems as personal data theft, enormous phone bills, and malfunction of different apps. Luckily, there are ways to recognize that a virus has infiltrated your device. Number 1. The battery gets drained much faster than usual. Now, modern smartphones have a much stronger battery than their predecessors. Some particular models can work for as long as two days on a single charge. If you begin to notice that the battery of your smartphone depletes faster than before, the device may be infected with a virus or malware. Most viruses don't give away their presence. They function in the background, and that's what makes your battery run out so quickly. On the bright side, wink, this can help you detect a virus. Number 2. You experience disruptions during calls. And it's not your little brother, either. If your calls often drop or you have strange disruptions during conversations, this should ring alarm bells. Naturally, you may just have problems with connection or your carrier. Bad weather may also affect your phone calls. But if this situation repeats time after time, it might be a virus. Many of them have a bad influence on the quality of your phone calls. Number 3. You notice mysterious outgoing calls. You should be suspicious if you start to notice outgoing phone calls you didn't make or texts you didn't send. If no friend or family member used your phone, the chances are high that your gadget is infected with a virus. Some viruses are created specifically to send messages and make calls from a smartphone. And this is how they replicate. So if your friends get spam messages with suspicious links from you, your phone must have caught a virus. Number 4. There are constant pop-ups. Now, in most cases, constant ads and pop-ups appearing on the screen are sure signs of a smartphone virus. You probably downloaded an app with adware on your gadget. Such pop-ups are often connected with suspicious websites. If you click on a link offered by a pop-up ad, a new portion of viruses may infiltrate your phone. Check your latest apps to find out which one brought along the adware. As soon as you figure it out, install it immediately. Number 5. There are unfamiliar apps on your phone. A very common sign of a virus is the appearance of unfamiliar apps on your phone. You know for sure that you haven't installed them, but they do exist. It's simple. Mobile viruses tend to install other harmful malware on your device. This helps them to work in tandem and gain strength. Number 6. Your gadget overheats. Infected phones often suffer from overheating. Viruses and worms use your smartphone's resources, putting a serious strain on the gadget. As a result, it becomes hot to the touch. You should know that if your device has become too slow and heats up even when you don't use it much, it's most likely infected with a virus. Number 7. Your smartphone uses much more data than usual. If your smartphone is infected with a virus, you might spot a noticeable increase in data usage. A malicious bug can use the data source of your gadget to send out information and show pop-up ads. Luckily, you can deal with this problem. Android phones have settings that can help you manage your data usage. 
choose Wireless and Networks in the Settings menu. Then tap Data Usage and pick Set Mobile Data Limit. Now adjust the sliders to set your limit. 8. There are mysterious charges on your phone bill. Mm. An enormous phone bill is a sure sign that your smartphone has caught a virus. Some malware sends out a huge number of messages until you're left with a significant phone bill. Other viruses act more carefully and send one or two messages a month to not raise suspicions. In addition, they may simply uninstall themselves after they've punched a hole in your finances. Pay close attention not only to your phone bills, but to all other bills as well. Strange subscription fees or mysterious charges may indicate that one of your gadgets has gotten infected. Number 9. There are frequent program crashes. If a game you're playing on your smartphone suddenly crashes for the first time, it's suspicious. But if this starts to occur repeatedly, something has definitely gone wrong. Almost all viruses affect the apps you have on your phone. As a result, programs don't load as they should or crash unexpectedly. Another example may be a missing Bluetooth icon or any other icon on the screen. They may not be displayed if your smartphone is infected. To prevent the interference of a virus, try to update your apps in a timely manner. These are the most common smartphone viruses. 1. Trojan this virus often sticks to an app that looks absolutely harmless at first glance. But as soon as you download this app, the malware becomes active and infects your phone. After that, it can worm your personal data out of the phone. A Trojan virus can uninstall apps on your gadget or make your phone send expensive texts. Even worse, it can completely paralyze your device. Two of the most famous types of Trojan virus are Hummer and Skulls. 2. Phishing No, not phishing, phishing! This malware looks like a proper login page, but as soon as you enter your account details, third parties get an opportunity to steal your credentials and use this information for their purposes. Number 3. Worm What you use for phishing? No, not really. This virus is typically spread with the help of text messages. The worst part is that it doesn't need any interaction with a user to be activated. The main goal of this virus is to spread and reproduce itself, but it can also contain harmful instructions. Number 4. Adware, also known as spyware. You probably won't know that your gadget has been infected with this malware, since it likes to pretend to be a legitimate app. But as soon as your phone is infected, this virus starts to collect your personal information, including your contacts, location, browsing history, and even your preferences. After that, this data is delivered to a third party, which most often turns out to be an advertising company. 5. Ransomware now this virus disables a gadget and makes its owner pay ransom to regain control over their phone. Some modern malware of this type can get administrator rights and tamper with your security code or PIN. You can catch this virus when you visit insecure or malicious sites or if you download unreliable apps. And finally, especially watch out for the infamous Miley virus. It can sure do a wrecking ball on your device. No, I just made that up. Hey, maybe Miley will send us a tweet, you think? Huh, I'll let you know. Now, as you can see, even one virus on your smartphone can cause a whole peck of trouble. That's why it's so important to protect your gadgets from getting infected. Here are a few more tips. Always update your smartphone software. Every new update contains new bug fixes. Do not install apps from unreliable sources. On your Android device, choose Settings – Security. Find Device Administration and search for Unknown Sources. This setting should be unchecked. Don't, 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 don't let your device download any apps until you enter a password. Before you decide to download an app, 
Look at the dialog box, where it asks for access to different options. Naturally, a browser can't work without internet access, and a photo app will want access to your storage. But if you notice something suspicious among the app's demands, don't install it. Install a good antivirus. Free built-in programs aren't bad, but they aren't really effective. If you use the internet on a daily basis, you should have a professional antivirus. Don't open or download any email attachments before you scan them. Even if it's an email from your best friend, it's better to use, for instance, an inbuilt Gmail scanner. Better safe than sorry. Back up your data on a regular basis. It will help to restore your information if a virus damages or destroys it. Read what you see on the screen before you tap it. If a pop-up ad appears on your phone, the chances are high that it's the plot of a third party trying to con you into giving away your credentials. Always be mindful of what you do. That's it! So, how do you protect your phone from viruses? Share your experience in the comment section below. Remember to hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and join us on the Bright Side of Life by subscribing to this channel.